All right. So we are going to be looking at credential harvesting today. And one second. There we go. Hiya. <laughs> yeah, credential harvesting today on Try Hacking should be a pretty good one. Um, the beginning of it, I already said yes, yeah, sure. Like, just answer the question. You get the username and password. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll uh, RDP into this guy. So let's use Remina real quick. Let's do a quick Remina. And we'll RDP into this guy. Actually, do I even have my... Let's do this also. Uh, bash scripts. I don't even have my VPN up and running yet. There we go. Okay. So 1010.137.224. All right. Credential harvesting AD, THM, red. Okay. Username is THM, password. It's going to be that password right there. We'll say okay. And let's see what we got here. All right, sweet. Nope, oh, that button. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and look at the first part of this, like right here. And we'll see what's going on with everything. Hey, thanks a lot for the foul. Rudinjo. Rudinjo. Thank you very much. All right, so we'll go with credential access. Let's read the first part here. We got use the methods shown in the task search through the Windows registry for an entry called flag, which contains a password. What is the password? Um, let's not search. Let's try something else first. Can we first off run this as administrator? Yes, we can. All right. I want to try something first. Let's go ahead and get a Python web server running in. I'm just going to leave this up and running because it's probably going to be doing a lot of that. And we'll also grab my IP address. I'm thinking I want to use maybe PowerUp and see if PowerUp finds anything. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, that IP address slash PowerUp.ps1. Let's go and try that first. And are we, nope, we won't need an MSI bypass, doesn't look like, so we'll do an invoke all checks. With power up, let's see what we have here. Because power up does look in the registry. So, let's see if we can find anything. Oh, check and follow the registry, all runs fix. Okay, couldn't find anything, okay. Because power up does look in the registry. So it wants us to look in the registry, right? So that should be like a reg query, right? Reg query. Um, and we want to find a string. So that would be, yeah, slash F. Is that a password there? We would end up using, um, what is it? We're going to have to look at HKLM and also HKCU. But instead of password there, we're going to be looking for flag, right? That's uh, what we want to do on that one, like right there. So let's go ahead and look for flag. So let's go ahead and do reg query. We'll copy that whole thing into there, make it a little bit easier. And we're going to look for flag. Or maybe just THM. See if we find anything. Oh, yeah, we found a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can do it for, like, if we do something like this, if it's only going to find THM. Nope, it's find the same stuff. Okay, so let's see here. So it wants us to look in the reg query for an entry called flag. Okay, for an entry called flag. So let's go ahead and look for flag. I thought it was for THM, my fault. For, for, for an entry called flag. Find flag. See if we find anything. Yeah, we found a bunch of stuff. I mean, almost too much stuff to really look through, almost. Hmm. Or if we just for password? It's probably not going to say password, huh? Just going to put compatibility flags. That's all we're getting over there.
Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, cool. H key, local machine, system, THM, flag, right size. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and throw that into our notes. Uh, so we'll go to Windows, Active Directory, Windows. And we'll say um, searching registry. And actually, you should put both those guys in there. We should copy and paste both these guys in here. Then obviously, whatever you want to search for is going to be right here under password right so we got that like right there so that is the flag like right there i think that we're going to need so sweet make our lives a little bit easier there and then we have enumerate the ad environment we provided was the password of the victim user found in the description section uh let's go ahead and upload iex iwr HTTP, uh my ip address again Otherwise, press control C, like right there. It's kind of dumb of me. There we go. Uh, my IP address again, slash power view dot PS1. I just want to do this. What? Do I not have power view? What? What? Oh, it's all lowercase. That's why. Oh, what? Lies. Okay, powerview.ps1. And then we'll do a get net user. And this should drop everything. Now we could always filter it by description. So let's go ahead and look that up like real quick. We'll do a quick uh, filter power view by description. um power view okay get that user uac filter yeah, i think we can do select description there we go okay so get that user select description let's try that there we go change the password there's the password like right there so one of these users description has that in there so you could just take the users since we can do a net user on here we could just take these users throw this password in there we can go from there right use crack map exact whatever else you want to use hydra whatever but we can go ahead and do that let's go ahead and throw that into this task right here we'll click submit and we are good so i'm also going to make a little thing over here and we're just going to call it a uh, power view i should probably put it in here huh Should do this like right here. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Local Windows credentials. Okay. Um, so keystrokes, key logger. Okay. Uh, security count, Sam. Okay. Uh, Metasploit hash dump. Volume shadow copy. Done all those before. Registry hives. Uh, don't think we ever did a registry hive before, but that's secret stuff. Okay. Follow the technique discussed in this task to dump the content in the SAM database file. Was the NTLM hash for the administrator account? Since we are an administrator, what we technically could do is actually an IEX IWR, and we could invoke Mimikatz, and we could try it like that. try something like this and see if that's going to work for us and see if we can um, get the administrators hash like that so we can do a just the regular invoke mimicat to see what we get with that first Ooh, so it did not like that at all actually with an lsa dub lsa slash patch doesn't look like it likes that at all though now does it nope okay so it looks like we're not going to use maybe cats on that one um we could try secrets dub dot pi we could always try that <clears throat> Follow technique discussed in the task to dump the content of the SAM database file with the NTLM hash. 
Hmm. What other one should we try to do? We're probably doing the shadow copy one, huh? We could always make a... Yeah, we got to copy it first. It's the Sam database file. So we're going to be utilizing... We could always make a make something and have it call back to us and do a hash dump. We could always try that. Let's go and do this first. And do they want the full one or just the NT hash? Just the NT hash. Okay. So Mimikatz is not working though. I'm, I'm going to do a quick LS Tech LA on in both Mimikatz. That looks like the correct size one. There's two different ones. And one of them are large and the other one's small. The large one is the correct one. So I just want to do like a quick LS Tech LA out here. Yeah, okay. So the larger one is the one that works better. So the smaller one does not. This one like right here. Okay, so Invo maybe cast them not working over here. Open process. Learn administrator shell. Hmm. Wonder why he's not able to run it. There could be a bunch of reasons why, but let's go ahead and copy that over to the desktop. Well, who am I first off? I don't know who I even am. So let's check. I'm THM, right? So let's see if you can see users THM. We're actually going to put this in the THM desktop. Because it's being used by another process. Yes, it's always being used by another process. That's why you just can't copy and paste it. That's the problem with it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do about um, a shadow copy then. So I think I actually have shadow copy my notes a different way. Let me see here. Um, but that's actually if we do a who am I slash priv and who am I groups. Person in crime. Well, we're already administrator though. Um, what well, my groups? That's only for certain stuff. I think that's for our server operator group. So I can't do it the way that I usually do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll try it this way, like right here. So we're going to make a shadow copy of the C drive. Okay. That's a new one for me. Let's go ahead to make notes of this. So I'm going to say uh, sh Sam. Sam password file shadow copy. So we're actually start this with the C drive. Okay. Uh, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a VSS admin list shadows. All right. Let's go ahead and make start that copy up of the C drive, like right there. Shadow copy. Okay. Let's go do do the shadow copy of it. Now we can't copy it because it's being used, but we can use a shadow copy. Okay. Let's apply the shadows above command that you should administer your privileges because it's always being used so we can never just type it out or copy it shadow copy does allow us to make a copy of the um of the sam database so that's what we're going to be trying to do like right here okay let me throw this guy in there and we see that contain one shadow copy. Okay, so we have made a shadow copy so far. So let's go ahead and throw that into there next. And let me go ahead and take a print screen of these two. So I have that and that. All right, now I can say uh, that shows Hey Al, Rick, how you doing? It shows that we have made a copy of the SAM database. Okay. Um, go ahead, we'll hop back over to here again. All right. Um, with the following path, global root device, hard disk, shadow copy one. Okay. So I'll, I'll throw that in there also. And it sure enough does. It exactly says that. So that's awesome. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow from Don Graffiti. Thank you very much. All right, so we have 
I'm going to go in here. So as mentioned previously, the SAM database is encrypted on RC4 AES encryption algorithms. In order to decrypt it, we need a decryption key, which is also stored in system. Yeah. So we have to copy this guy like right here, SAM, to the desktop, right? And then we also have to copy system to the desktop. And then we're probably going to do a secrets dump dot pi. So let's go ahead and do that. And also system. Because we need the system and the SAM for it. Once we do a secrets dump, we should just be able to do a bring it back to Cali over there and then type in local. So they'll see that thing, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and we will copy those two down. Easier access and also system. Okay, boom, boom, All right? So far, so good. Okay, registry hives. Another possible of them is that database contents to Windows Registry. Windows Registry also stores a copy of some of the SAM database contents to be used by Windows services. Luckily, we saved the value of the Windows Registry. Okay. So we could also do it like that, huh? So let's go ahead and we'll just put that one down also. We'll say SAM. Okay, then we'll do a um, utilizing Windows Registry. Then we'll go ahead and we'll copy this one down like right here. I know we can do it through that. That's pretty sweet. That's way faster, I feel like. <clears throat> and what we could actually do, we can do those two commands like right now if you want. We put that in there. It's not going to be for administrator. It's going to be for THM, right? This one's the system one. The other one's going to be the SAM one, right? So this one's THM. And there it is. Saved it like right there. Cool. Did it copy the other stuff too? Oh, because I tried to do it to a mystery desktop. That's fine. I'm THM hot. Um, and we'll also do the SAM one over here. And this is going to be for Red Save if you have on SAM, right? All right. So those two are in there. Cool. So we got both of those. Um, let's go ahead and hop back over here and type in THM because I messed up. And I should be seeing it here. C users THM desktop system. Hmm. Wonder why I'm not seeing it on the desktop. So we're copying it. It's not saying that it successfully did it either. And we also want to copy with SAM too. To THM desktop. But it's not actually showing up over here. Let's do an artifact force and see if maybe it's hidden. Uh, CD in the desktop. Artifact force. It's not hidden, so it's not copying it from there to there. So, but we do have that that guy right there. He actually used the Sam Reg also. So that's something that he also used too. So we'll go ahead and take a picture of this like right here. Just so I can show this probably right here and that it actually copied over. Boom. And we are going to actually need to also my main workstation. No, it's Windows. I'm just on VM like right now. This is a Kali Linux VM. All right. Now we need to encrypt it. There's already an attack. Okay. So I don't want to use secret dump that pine the attack box. We're not going to use that like that. Um, what I'm thinking is we actually bring it back to ourselves, All right? So we're going to have to get that back to ourselves first. That was attack box going fine. So let's go ahead and to get that over to ourselves first, let's go ahead and uh, open up another terminal here we'll go into cd level cd into desktop try hack me make directory for cred harvesting cd there and what we're going to do is we're going to do a 
SMB server share for SMB2 support. So that should wait for that stuff. And then we can go ahead and copy, which I've not done this in a while. I haven't been on a Windows machine that like, I haven't done any of this stuff in a long time. <laughs> so sorry if I uh, mess it up. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to copy um, the Samreg, right? to um, slash share is that gonna work and it does it's calling back over to here it's accepting it it's probably gonna take a minute Can't access the share folder because already is true. Probably block unauthenticated guest access. God damn it! These pods help protect your PC from unsafe or malicious devices on the network. Huh? Just happy, happy accidents. All right. Um. I wonder if I can copy to a share and authenticate it. How do I copy? try this copy to share and authenticate I mean we never did an map there might be a share open how can I copy file network share so I want to be able to authenticate under a different logon which doesn't have permission okay copy the shares okay let's try this because I don't really care run as boom boom copy file share okay let's try that in a batch file you can connect to the share with the user option net use really let's try that let's try this net use net use and then we have slash slash that slash share right and user is going to be cali because we're connected to cali linux right and the password will say is cali does that work like right there you can't access share folder because your organization <laughs> oh my god but I'm authenticating to it. I think I might know what the problem actually is. Like right here. And I think it might be in a configuration file for impact it. <clears throat> um... I think it may actually be for a configuration within the SMB share that you have to actually change for print nightmare actually I believe it is yes right here so allow anonymous authentication on Samba I think it's actually that like right there so I think we actually want to deny that Let's see where it says guest access. I think we want to say no to that. So let's try to do this like right here. This is just a wild guess too. Kryptonian, how you doing? How's it going and everything? This is a wild guess. I have no idea if this is correct or not. Let's go ahead and do a CD nano. That guy like right there. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And we could actually just Put a pound sign in front of it. Um, control W, where is uh, what's it called? It was called allow user share allow guest, or was it guest okay? Public, I guess, change both of these. So let's look up user share. So I guess, like right here. Grant the user privilege to create public shares, not just authenticated ones. Okay, and then we'll do the other one, which is going to be guest okay. Guest okay, let's go ahead and comment that guy out. Well, actually, we'll leave it like that. Guest okay will say is no. We'll say no. 
let's go ahead and run this again and let's see if that works. Getting it kind of. So we gotta get that file over here somehow. Unless there's a share on here, we just drop it in. Okay, so that's not working either. That's okay. That's still okay. We just got to work around that, right? I want to go ahead and change that file though. So it was um, it was user share. Allow guests. We're gonna change that back to yes, and then we're just gonna look up guest. No, don't save. Sublime text. We we'll use sublime text for it. Make my life a little bit easier. All right, Control F, user share. And then allow guests. Or was it guest access from that? Allow guest user, guest okay, then we'll say yes again. Okay, go ahead and save that. All right, um, let's go ahead and see what we actually are running on this thing. So we just logged like right into it. We haven't done anything else yet. So let's go ahead and see what we're actually running on this guy like right here. And see if there's a share folder on here. If not, we are an administrator. We could just set one up and get into it like that because we do have a password. So we could just set up a share. So we do have 445. So let's go ahead and check out that share. So we'll do a, we also have port 82. Might be able to still run on the web server there. But uh, let's go ahead and do an MAP or an SMB client on IP address. Attack use would be THM. Password was, I don't remember. Let's go ahead and scroll back up. Go to credential harvesting. P at sign SSW0RD exclamation point. Let's go ahead and check that out. We'll see if we get anything. Okay, just C drive, default share. So we may just be able to actually just. Okay, let's go ahead and just throw in the C drive. Well, CD into users. Never mind. Let's get CD right into users. Uh, CD into THM. <laughs> this is one way to get it over there, right? Uh, CD into desktop. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a get request for SAM reg and for system reg. There we go. That's one way to do it. All right, cool. Easy day. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, stack LA this guy. And we do have Sam Red System Reg. It looks like he's still trying to get that system reg though. It's almost looking much bigger, as you can see. I don't know if it's still growing or not in size. Um, is that actually going to work then? Secret dump. May not be able to work because. Yep. There is a problem with retrieving that file like right there. So I do have notes on retrieving large files. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, because it's like SMB get, I forget what the heck it is. But I do have notes on retrieving large files within, through SMB. So SMB share, downloading large files. There we go, SMB get tech R. So we'll go ahead and I'm actually just going to copy and paste this guy right in there. Just so I can make my life a little bit easier. And it was THM. Um, it's going to be. Hmm. Because we want to do it on a C drive, right? But it's not going to be a C dollar sign, I don't think, is it? 
Okay, so that's what it's actually going to be like right there. But I don't think I can have them going that way. I think it has to actually go that way. <clears throat> yeah. They all have to go that way. Or double them up. Either one. But I think Windows will allow you to do it like that. And it will still work, I believe. But we're about to test it. Okay, so password P S N S S W zero R D exclamation point. Let's try that. And let's see if we download both of those things. Okay, so can I open permission denied? What? THM desktop SMB system reg. Let's try like this. You may also just be able to put it right on the web server there. Maybe I'll copy that thing right on the web server and download it like that. Oh, that password was PSIN SSW 0RD exclamation point. Okay. Oh, PASS. That's why it probably was actually died. PASSW 0RD exclamation point. Invalid argument. Yeah, you don't say. Let's try that. Not PS side. Can I open system reg file exist? Fail to download SAM reg file exist. Okay, let's go ahead and remove tech RF system reg then. And we'll do this again. See if that works. See if we download, see if it's also any bigger. Because it said it was missing like four bytes and that was it. So, fail to download desktop. Right. We'll get the fucking system one then. I don't think we need to do it recursively. There we go. It's downloading that 19. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do the math. It's just in here. Never mind. So I'll try to do the math real quick. So this one looks like it's going to take a couple minutes to download. Hydrate. Got a Pepsi. Does that work? That was good. That was some good stuff, like right there. And I don't have a Coke today. Coke's not sponsoring me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Drinking up on stream, I feel like Coke should be sponsoring me. I'm going to write to him about it. Well, I can't write to him. Somebody else has to write to them. Because if I write to him, that just looks weird. They're going to be like, it's this random dude I'm trying to get sponsored by Coke. When somebody else writes to him, then it's like, oh, this guy drinks way too much Coke. And I'll tell him how my stomach is ripping itself apart. Let's turn on light in here, too. <laughs> light. Oh, God. God. Yeah, like whenever the sun comes out. Oh, what are this? Especially out here in Okinawa. Actually, that's how it usually is out here in Okinawa. Even my son. Oh, sunglasses. Because the sun's like three feet from your face, it feels like. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. That's much bigger. I feel like we were missing more than just uh, four bytes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that uh, SMB, uh, or not SMB server, um, secret dump. Right now, system is going to be system.reg, right? And Sam is going to be Sam.reg. And it's going to be local because it's on our local machine right here, right? And there we go. We finally get it. So remember, this is the LM. That's the NT hash. Even though it's called an NTLM hash, that's LM. This side's NT. So it should technically be this side over here. And if port 5985 is up, we should be able to win our MN. I mean, we could also do it other ways, but. That is something we could try to do. Just to have more fun with this machine. And there we go. Cool. 
So I miss you shouting. I can't shout let's go anymore because the kids are sleeping. Like whenever I see them, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so it was going to be like a few years before I could do that again. I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I can't shout anymore though because the kids are back. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and let's, since this box is also, I mean, instead of just following walkthroughs, let's, um, let's see what if this box has port 5985 on it. And if not, let's see, okay, well, let's try to PS exec dot pi. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw that hash into here. And I believe it was for administrator, right? That hash stick right there, it is for, yep, administrator. Let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, Use a pass the hash on this guy. Question for the more junior guys. Can you tell me what type of hash they string is by looking at it? So, yes. After so long, yes. NTLM hashes, are, you're always going to be able to tell. Uh, from there, usually like MD5, you just look at it like, eh, I think that's MD5. You know, like that, that looks like MD5. But like, base 64, um, usually the equal signs, give it away. Things like that. Hey, thank you. Thanks a lot, Hazard. But, um, like, there was one the other day. It was some, like, question or dollar sign P dollar sign or something like that. And I was like, what is this? And we ended up figuring out which one it was. Just by throwing John the Ripper, we actually figured out which one that one was. So, ooh, really? Well, we tried our best. No, I was kidding. We, we did everything we could. Nothing else we could possibly do ever. That was everything. Ooh, man. This thing, maybe the administrator is not actually allowed to even log in this thing. Yeah, Hashcat, yeah, you just control F and then just look for it, yep. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Can you tell what the password is by looking at the hash? Of course. This is, um, well, actually, okay. So, yes, kind of. So, with NTLM hashes, if this starts with this 3160, see how this hash and this hash are the exact same thing? These two accounts are disabled. I can tell you that. What's up, Christy? How you doing? So, the NT hash on both of these are the same exact thing. You know that count is disabled. So, if you were to get a hash and guessed did not have a 31D6C, it doesn't start with that, like right there, that means that guest is enabled. So, I always do look at guest. I always do look at that. I'm like, ah, you know, like, let's see if guest is enabled or not. But, um, you know, usually by that time, you're already administrator or whatever else, but if guest is enabled, that's to open up the door for a whole other, you know, onslaught of stuff. But, um, all right, so LSAS. Let's go ahead and check out LSAS now. So what is LSAS? Local Security Authority Server. What's that? Awesome. Yeah, so Same hash over and over again. All right, graphic user to dump any running Windows boxes use a GUI hash manager. Oh, we have done this before actually. Yeah, we have actually done that exact thing before. Now this guy he has Mimikatz. It looks like on this box most likely already. I don't really want to do that though. Oh, wonderful. I'm wonderful. Um, I want to bring it back to me, which I mean, we obviously, we just brought it back to ourselves. We could do that. But, process to the Mimikatz folder. So, so we fix the registry value, check the LSAS section later. Okay, so we can't do that part yet, even. Which I do remember that also. Like right there, having to fix stuff. Sys internal suite, yep. Sys internals is also signed by Microsoft, so 
I mean, you could use it. So Mimi Cats is on here, which is kind of weird because Invoke Mimi Cats did not work. But Mimi Cats is on here. And supposedly, which if Mimi Cats is on there, then that means that. Um, well, disable real time monitoring. What the heck is that called? See, I told you I haven't done this in a while. Uh, what am I looking for? for my notes? Windows, services, pris, groups, processes. Where the heck is disable real time monitoring on here? I forgot what the beginning of it was. Which I've done 18 million times, so it's kind of funny that I forgot what the beginning of it was. Processes. Disk Shadow. There we go. Backup operators. That's what uh, we just did with the SAM also. So you know if we had a backup operator on there. I already have a power group thing in here, huh? Never mind. Go ahead and delete that one. Yes, please. Okay. Find files. Mimicats. Pass the hash. Yeah, whatever. Persistence. Why can't I remember it? Sometimes I get these brain farts. Well, I think everyone gets them. But you know what does have it in there? There we go. Stable real-time monitor. I literally wrote the script. I can't remember what it is. Set MP preference. There we go. So if we do a get MP preference. We get MP preference. We should actually be able to see if real time monitoring is on or not. Which it most likely is not because real time scan direct, real time monitoring. It's not even on this box. What the hell? Disabled real time monitoring. That's why. True. So it is disabled. So that's why maybe cats is working just fine like that. I wonder why invoke maybe cats is not working at all. That's really weird to me. That invoke maybe cats is having problems. You're right. Command is not a thing. Command is a thing. Command is not. You're 100% correct. PowerShell. I apologize. Okay, so that worked. Try to put in two commands here, and that does not work. Open process. It's so weird. Invoke MovieCast doesn't work. Log on passwords doesn't work. Secure Log on passwords. <clears throat> but MimiCats works. That's very, very strange. MimiCats is on this box and tools. That's strange. See? I mean, we literally just tried to do that with Invoke MimiCats. Um, to enable LSS registry modify the registry run as people D word value so we can actually check the registry like real quick and see um, we can do a reg query I think for that I think we can but I don't exactly know how to do it for something like that so let's go ahead and we're just going to hop into unless someone else does please share but let's go ahead and just look up a registry for a registry register editor Registry editor. Go ahead and open this up. Hey, thanks you too, man. You have a good night. And from registry editor, if we go into okay, it's already in actually LSA. But that made our life easier. Um and value not set. Let me see here. So if registry editor if it is set control set LSA to one, run as PPL, run as people. We're just gonna say that. Um and it is set to one, so yes, it is um on this box like right here yes so let's go ahead and remove that 
So we can double click on him. We're gonna change that one to a zero. And we are hackers. That's it. That's your that's what we're gonna to do today. That's it. No. I actually want to take a quick print screen of that like right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, um let's go ahead and do a what will this won't even be called or let's go ahead and um LSAS protection. Disabling LSAS protection. LSSAS, right? No, LS, LSASS, right? LSAS. Yeah, LSASS. Yep, okay. Uh, protection. Um, this box, <laughs> this box is um, harvesting credentials, harvesting creds on Try Hack Me. Staving LSAS protection. So we can just go ahead and do this. If run people is. So open registry editor, registry editor, editor, um, change one to zero to disable. This one is now disabled. What are you doing right now? I know you're doing CRTP, right? Uh, this is probably not going to help as much with CRTP. So once driver, so no, the, that failed as file exists. I can maybe cats navigate that and run the command again. Once the drivers, we can do that. Maybe cats also. Yeah. See. Okay. Cool. To access denied. Yeah. Lucky for us, maybe cats provide a mini drive. Really. So we could do that too. I just want. I'm, I'm not going to try that one. I'm just going to copy and paste it though. That's super cool. I don't know what MovieCast do that. I wonder if Invoke MovieCast can do that. Probably. I mean, everything else. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to actually mess around with that one. We can also do the same thing with MovieCast. I feel like, I mean, we can also do the same thing with Reg Query. You know? Yeah, it's for practice. Yeah, that's CRTP. You feel like a freaking PowerShell guru after that, don't you? Then you're gonna get to the test and realize you are not a PowerShell guru. It's like after you take the EJPT, you're like, man, I could hack NASA. You know, and then you do anything. You realize I cannot hack anything. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool like right there. So once we've done that, now we should be able to use Invoke Mimikatz according to our information we've got. So let's go ahead and try to do that log on passwords again. Yes, this will be go on YouTube. They all go on YouTube. It's still saying no. It's still saying, fuck off, mate. You can't do that. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. Come back into here. Right click. More. Or just run as administrator. Yes. And let's go ahead and reload Mimi Cat to do it. Run as PPL is now zero, right? Exit out of here. Okay. Um. Go ahead and get Mimi Cats again. <clears throat> oh yeah, Kryptoni, they all go on YouTube. The only problem is, is how long will it take for it to get onto YouTube? Because there's so many videos in between this one and the other ones. But this one actually I think I'm gonna put on pretty quickly just because I got all the other Active Directory stuff happening like right now. So we're still getting the same thing. Uh, let's go ahead and see the to see tools. Mm, and there should be a Mimi Cats in here. And let's see if this works with it. So we just want um, privilege debug, right? And then we just want to do a Ursula logon passwords. <clears throat> and we're still going to save that thing, that handle on memory. So. Let's go ahead and do this like right here. 
maybe I have to continue doing this. This file exists. That worked really, really well. No, this fails with is follows this error. Exit maybe cast navigate back and run command again. Okay. So let's go ahead and exit, I guess. <clears throat> and we'll run that command again, I guess. So we'll do that exclamation point plus sign again. Um might as well keep doing this. Seems like a really pointless way of harvesting credentials like right here. <laughs> Seems like a horrible way to actually harvest them. TV and the mini cats. What am I looking for here? Why did I do that? I don't know what I'm even looking for in there, so. I haven't gone trying. I haven't gotten to try to get with me, but once I get the lab done here tomorrow, I'm going to try it again. Okay. Um, so that seems like a super useless way to do it because, uh, yeah, that ain't happening like right there. That's not happening at least. Let's go ahead and just try this next part, which was probably going to be a big negative. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoopsie daisy. Let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's go ahead and try to run it with command prompt maybe. Maybe it's a PowerShell thing that doesn't like it. And we'll see the NC tools, mini cats. And we'll run mimicast.exe. And we'll do our privilege debug again. P R I V I L E G E. Privilege debug. And then we'll do uh, exclamation point plus sign. Okay, so that time it decided to work. Okay, cool. So we got there. All right. Let me go ahead and update my notes. Um, may need to run the mimicats1 in command prompt. Okay, now we want to go ahead and do that LSAS dump like right there. So that's my fault. Usually it's my fault. Okay, so we did that. And now that we did that, can we do our... Log on passwords? Yes, we can. Okay. There we go. That's what I want to see, like right there. And now we've actually done that. I wonder if we can go back over and use invoke in the cats. So, okay, cool. So we actually got it this time. So we'll go ahead and we'll just show this like real quick. Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. Let's go. <laughs> All right, what is next? Windows Credential Manager. All right, easy day. Oh, what's on YouTube? What's going on here? John Hammond, How Hackers Hide. I haven't watched him in a while. The towel tomorrow, please and thank you. Um, I don't have it. One second over there. Do to that. Sorry. He'll be okay. He'll live. He got a washer dryer. All right. Now we have. So we've done that. So now we should be able to do a lot more here, right? So we. Oh, they're using like vault. Okay, vault command list. We can actually do a vault. Let's actually see if maybe cats actually has the vault in there. So let's do a vault. Was it vault list, All right? And then we can do a vault. Oh, okay, we already got it. Actually, there it is. But we can also do a vault. Um, vault is it dump? I forget what it's called. Mimi cats for the vault vault cred slash patch, which is a dangerous one to run. Cred slash patch. 
can also do that like right there. And there's some more credentials, boom, boom. Okay, so we got credentials for, uh, these ones like right here are actually, oh, THM, yeah, this one like right here is not gonna matter. This is the credential they want, like right here. Um, but we know that we do have stuff in the vault because it's sitting right up here. So, and we have easy password right here for THM user, who, so if we do a net user, which I can't do it on there because I'm not sitting on just regular command prompt. So if we do a net user, we should have a THM user in here. Let's see if we do. We have THM, THM local victim. So THM user does not exist anymore. Okay. But yeah, we're definitely seeing some stuff in here. All right, cool. That's for THM. That's care string, easy password. Cool. All right. So that's actually his web credentials like right there. He's got stuff in his web credentials. Windows credentials are showing up, but then we scroll down and we have some different Windows credentials down here for THM local. So we're getting some good stuff here, right? And that's all sitting in the Windows vault. So let's go ahead and start answering some of these questions. Okay. Apply technique for extracting clear text password from Windows credential. What is the password THM user for the internal app.thm.red? Is that what that said? Internal app. Oh, yeah, look at that. Resource. All right, cool. Maybe I should actually look at it, huh? There you go. Use movie cast to memory dump the credentials for the 10.10.237.226 SMB share. Which store in the Windows credential? What is the password? Um, for the share, huh? 10.10.237.226. 10, That's the credentials for it. That's why we had those ones. Okay. Run command.exe under the THM local user via run as. Boom, boom. Read the flag in there. Um, oh, God. What is it? It's run as. This thing actually tells me how to do it. Run as. Um, I think we can also run it as that person because they're actually in the vault, but we can just put in their credentials. Run as slash user. Um, THM local, right? We don't put in the password just yet. And then all we want to do from there, I believe, is just put in the program. So this like right here is what we want to run as that, right? And then we will put in the password. Nope. Run as no profile. THM dot red. I swear I might actually have run as my notes up here. I may have it. I always forget how to do run as. No, okay. Um, read the flag. So we have to do a type, right? We can't just try to just open that, right? So run as, use it at that, and then we're going to say type. If we do a run as like PowerShell slash user, um, and the user was THM local. We should probably put in the whole username, like domain, everything. Now let's do a THM local. <clears throat> um, then we can we just type in like command exe. Okay, cool. There we go. P A S S W zero R D one two three. I may have typed that in wrong. Capital P A S S W zero R D one two three. Okay, cool. So now we're running as here, right? So who am I? THM local. Okay, so CD and uh, C users. THM local. See desktop, I believe it was right. And nope, where was that uh, thing at? It's in save games. Okay, 
CD back back, CD to save games, and type out that flat.txt. All right, cool. There we go. Awesome. All right, boom, I'm done with that one. The next one is domain controller. Okay. Apply technique discussed in the task to dump the NTDS file locally and extract hashes. What is the target system boot key value? Note, use thm.red slash ghm as active directory user since it has administrator privileges. Oof, what are we doing here? Okay. NTDS is located in the, yep. Okay, local dumping, no credentials. PowerShell. The following is a one line PowerShell command dump the NTDS file using C temp directory. Really? You serious? System to hash remotely to clear credentials such as passwords or anything on hashes. I just want to kind of throw that into there for NTDS. So we'll do that with um, this guy right here. Uh, we'll say dumping NTDS. NTDS if needed. And we'll go ahead and we'll copy this in there. I know that I didn't know we could do that like right there. And we'll save that and we'll do the same thing over here. Dumping NTDS is needed. Oops. And we'll throw that over into these notes. Okay, cool. Um, now, with that, they want us to do it remotely, right? Apply a technique discussed in the status file locally. Okay, you stress hash. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. Let's go ahead and do it locally, and we'll grab this like right here. We'll do a get through the SMB, share again, and we'll do it like that. Uh, it should be a pretty easy day. So we're already running as administrator in PowerShell, right? So let's go ahead and run that command. Okay, active. Boom, boom, create a snapshot. All right, cool. So that put it in the C temp, right, it said. We'll see if you can see temp. Active directory, okay. Active directory, I take it. And we got our NTDS, cool. All right, let's go ahead and print screen this whole thing right here. Easy day. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw this up here also. Okay. Uh, from there, we can go ahead and go into which can the three files we need, transfer them, boom, boom. Um, do I also need the registry one? I also need that folder too. CD backpack slash registry. And security. Yep, I do need those ones. Nope, I just need those like right there. So, we'll see. Boom. And we'll go ahead and throw that up here also. Okay, so there's security and system again. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw that over here also. There we go. Okay. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and bring all those files back over to us. So we want to go and do, let's go ahead and just do the SMB again. Think I got right that time? Cool. We'll CD in the C drive. Temp. CD in temp, okay. Uh, we'll cd into active directory. We should need the ntds.dit file. And we'll go ahead and do a um, get ntds.dit. Let's see if we can, we'll take that whole thing. I think it should. Um, uh, probably not, huh? <laughs> probably not, actually. Now I'm looking at it. We'll have to do an SMB get again. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, figure what's gonna happen. SMB get. Where my other SMB get go? There we go. SMB get. I'm about to say like I don't want to type out this whole thing again. Let's go ahead and see where the hell we were even in there, right? There's always another way. Always remember that there's always another way. CV attempt. I could probably actually just do a for just C temp, huh? And just grab all that. Let's actually copy. No, we should do. We should actually copy. Can we copy with this? Well, doesn't matter. We can copy with this. What we should do is copy Active Directory. Um, Active Directory. Um, NCDS dot dit to the C temp folder. Copy security to the one folder back, right? And copy system one folder back. Cool. So now we have those like right there. So now what we should do is just, or if we just delete these two, let's delete them. Um, Delete Active Directory. Yes. And delete registry. Yes. Now I can just do an SMB get. I wouldn't have done that like real life. I would have just gone through and just made it slower. But now we can just do a that guy. P A S S W Zero R D exclamation point. And we should be able to get all of those files like right there. Tac R. Whoops. Thank you. Now we'll recursively download everything. And we should end up in NCDS that's already in here, so it's not gonna download, is it? You gotta show it one more time. I don't know if uh, recursive is even actually even gonna work. So last time it was kinda give us a little bit of problems, huh? So we might just put in NCDS.dit. There we go. Okay, there's that one. So that's good so far. We are getting somewhere so far. It's saying it's going to take two hours to download. We might have to do like 35 minute breaks. <laughs> I think it's only a minute. I'm just laughing because it's 45 over here. There. Oh shit. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, mind luck. I'm not good with brutal maneuverals, but thanks a lot for the follow, man. Um, so if you fouled in the past like few days, um, <clears throat> I missed it. Like my computer's muted and I didn't realize it. And so I didn't hear it. So I do apologize for that. Made it, I was on a couple days ago and uh, yesterday, a couple days ago, some of that people were following. I didn't even realize it. So I do apologize for that. Whenever this finally gets on YouTube. Cause I did not say thank you. Once we once we download this, we're gonna do another secret dump also. Just so you guys know. So we're gonna do a secret dump again. And we're gonna do our tax security, path security, system, system, NCDS, NCDS. Um, you know, I'm actually want I mean I'll leave it in there. No, I think I actually have a thing up here for impact is secret dump, actually. NCDS did system system. Let's put another one in there and then we'll do a still one more in there we'll throw this one in there and we'll say cracking security system NTDS those are all red though I don't care okay so that's done. Systems now going like right now. Um, actually, when these are downloading, like real quick, I'm actually I'm gonna take a five minute break. So it's gonna take a minute to download the system. Sam, Sam, oh no, we're not downloading system or Sam. We're downloading security. So these are gonna take a minute. I'm gonna take a quick five minute break. Get up, stretch my legs, like real quick. So we do have a couple more tasks to go through after this, I believe. 
Um, don't know how many more. Yeah, we got laps and then other attacks. I don't know what other attacks are. So, yeah, we do have some more stuff to go through. So, I will be right back.
All right, so I think we're back from our sweet five minute break. You mean eight? Yes, yes, we can blue ninja. <clears throat> it's to stop it from, you know, in like the middle of it to get commercials, which you can't even hear me like right now. So <laughs> I'll type it out. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. All right. I think that was all the commercials. I think it was. Okay, so we did that right. We should have gotten everything now. Hopefully we did. We just played three minutes of commercials. We better have gotten everything right. Um, okay, so download everything. All right, cool. Did you get that cash? <laughs> no, it's to stop it. You, the cash goes straight back to you guys. But uh, no, it's to stop it from, you know, actually doing anything. Oh, I am monetized now on um, on YouTube. I made one dollar and one cent so far. So watch out for me. Big ball and coming up in the world. All right, let's go ahead and do an LS Tech LA. That's one dollar and one cent more than what I had, you know, a week ago. So <laughs> in the Philippines, that would buy a lot. That one dollar. I get a couple... Uh, what was it? Pork things. All right. Now we have our security system and NTDS.dit, right? So, <laughs> I say, I think that Wicked Blue Ninja, if you guys don't know, um, when we did the giveaways, I'm pretty sure that uh, he he did he did the giveaway. So if you got something, you should be thanking him. <laughs> he, he pretty much did the giveaway. <laughs> All right. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and probably not use Hashcat. Probably just use John the Ripper for this. But let's go ahead and grab that Seekers Dump. Um, we're actually doing the top one, like right here, doing this one up here, right? So let's go ahead and grab this, like right here. We don't need the path. Let me take that because we already have it in there. So security is just going to be security. Boom. System is just going to be system. And NTDS is just going to be NTDS. Boom. That should be it. And there it is. Awesome. Okay. So now what we can do is. Oh, please be patient. I am not a patient person. We all know this. So let me go ahead and print screen that like real quick. So I can also throw this into everything. Oh man, see three minutes ads are <laughs> Thank you very much, Wicked Blue Ninja, for the subscribe. Thank you very much. All right, so we have that. Thanks a lot, dude. That really actually does mean a lot. Thank you very much. Um, so we have that now. So we can go ahead and <clears throat> um, use John the Ripper on this, right? So, oh yeah, I want to put that into, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. What does that mean? Jesus fuck, Wicked Blue Ninja, calm down, bro. Thank you very much, Wicked Blue Ninja. No, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know if there's like, I don't know if there's. Thank you. I don't know uh, what else to say. With that. You don't have a Marine, so it's like, I, I don't have a, you know. Solid vocabulary. <laughs> I can watch the eight. <laughs> it was a five minute break. It, it took 234 seconds and the ads were only 180. <laughs> it's like whenever you're watching, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, Hulu. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> so, like, whenever you're watching uh, Hulu and, you know, you get, like, good part, then you just get an ad, and then you realize that's, like, 
you know, is that just the one? It's like there's like three or four of them. You're just like, come on, dude. It's the same ones repeatedly. And there's always that one in like the middle of it that's like either like wife abuse or like domestic abuse, domestic spouse abuse or like kid abuse. And you're watching, you know, like a funny movie or something like that. And you're just like, oh, like I, I don't really feel like laughing now. You know, you're just sad. <laughs> so <laughs> just like this, this is not funny anymore. <laughs> All right. So let's see what. Okay. So we did that, right? Um, now, once we obtain hash, we now use hash, use the hash for a specific user, a person name, or crack the hash using cracking tools, use hash, um, 1000 to crack the Windows NTLM hashes. Okay, apply techniques to remove. What is the target system boot key value? Target system boot key value for THM red slash THM. Target key boot key value. Yeah, we're actually. I don't know. Read encrypting hash from NTDS. Which one's the boot key value? I mean, it'd have to be this like right here, right? That's what I would think. Is that what they're talking about like right there? They're not talking about AES or anything like that, are they? Boot key, you know, that's BK. That's just Burger King. They're not talking about DES or anything like that, right? They're just talking about that like right there, right? Just the, no. Hey, you too, Wicked Blue Ninja. Thank you very much again. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much, uh, Wicked Blue Ninja. Apply the technique discussed in this task. Dump that TDS file locally. Extract hashes. What's the target system boot key value? Target system. I don't know. Okay. NTS file requires a system boot key to attempt to decrypt LSA, which is stored in the security file system. Therefore, we must also dump the security file containing all the required files. Correct. Okay, so we dump the security file. I know that. Target system. Is it just talking about this like right here? Like boot key? I crushed it. What is the clear text password for the BK admins? Okay, so Burger King admin. That's not backup admin. That's Burger King admin. Trust me. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do a nano um, hash.txt and we'll do a john hash.txt and we are going to do tag tag format equals nt and we got password 123. We're going to just brute force a lot of these admins. They are not doing very good. Their password policy is not correct. Okay, so now we have the local administrator password solution lapse. Well, this is the way to do it from oh dc sync okay i don't know about that one like right there yeah let's go ahead and take a quick print screen that like right there just for dc sync attack with this oh the reason i didn't use hashcat was because i am out of vm and i do have um amd uh, GPU and it does not like we all know it doesn't like that so I do have hashcat on my Windows machine which if it's a large file I will bring over to it but other than that I just use John the Ripper on the Cali machine okay so we got GPP first uh, laps boom boom Okay, let's see what the questions are. Which group has extended right holder and is able to read the last password? It's actually a really good question. Um, let's go ahead and see. Getting that. Um, net group. Is it net group or net groups? Net group. THM users. Boom, boom, DNS update, clonable, enterprise admins, okay. Laps reader, maybe? I mean, that that's why I think can read it, right? Is the laps reader group. That's what I would go with. Which group that extended right holder is able to read last password? I would say laps reader. Yep. Follow techniques discussion is task to get the last password. What is the last password? Creds harvested in a computer. Okay, let's go and follow the, uh, the steps of this thing. Enumerate for laps. 
local administrator password solution. Okay. So we want to look in the directory first. Let's go ahead and do a lapse over here first. Lapse. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we will enumerate for lapse. So first thing we want to do is DIR. I feel like this box like right here should have been part of the um, all those active directory boxes that they came out with. I feel like this one should be the last one because they did have persistence. I felt like I feel like this one should be like either right for persistence or even like right after it. I have to stream on in the background but it does drag one bit for Java. I get this <laughs> Sam, I'm not even being that loud today. My family's back, so I can't be uh, super loud. So that's to enumerate. The Revive VM has laps enabled, so let's talk about first check if laps install the target machine, which can be done by checking for DLL path. Oh, okay. Okay. Oops. Okay, cool. The output confirms you have laps on the machine. Let's check the available commands to use for the admin password command that's followed. Git command. I have a password, okay. So the next thing is find admin password extended rights check identity. password extended rights yep okay identity we want to put an identity here thm org and we do see last reader okay so that's like we're actually supposed to get the first one from but <clears throat> so there's that alpha shows yep we just did a uh, net groups thm group readers we actually do want to see who's in that group now obviously right which it looks like test admins in there passwords probably password something samuel is it a good uh distraction or a bad one so we obviously want to do a um what was it a net groups and then the group that we want to use right let's go ahead and hop back over to powershell net groups well what's your uh what do you do for a living Samuel? Samuel Hogg. THM lap reader. Do we, we want to look up THM group reader? That groups. Help it show us THM group reader. Yeah, so we want lap reader. Lap reader. Because you could just play this off as you're learning. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you very much. It's great to be back. BK admin is in it, and we did just get the BK admin password also. So that made our life much easier because we did just get his password from the last thing. So we can actually do this with BK admin, obviously. You're probably going to have to do a run as or something like that and move over to that person. Getting the password, we found that BK admin user is a member of for us, us last reader. So when we get the last password, we need to compromise or impersonate the BK admin user. As a compromise of the right user, we can get the last password, get admin password, command that by providing sorry machine. So I think all we need to really do is actually just open up PowerShell as him. Right? That's what I would think. So let's go ahead and do a run as. Run as. Um, ah, finance. Tell him that you are trying to make sure that the financial institution is staying safe from attacks that's all it's just training you're doing on the job training like right now to make sure that the financial institution is being safe against attacks from both internal and external threats i mean if you want me to i mean i can talk to you i can talk to the boss if you want i'd be like hey this is what needs to happen <laughs> i'm sure that he'll be stoked uh we want to run powershell right uh, BK admin's password was right here, which obviously 
real life, we would obviously, you know, probably because I did a, there we go, control V. The system cannot find the file specified. Probably because power reshell does not exist. That is 100% true. Good job, Windows. All right, there we go. So now we're running as BK admin, right? And now we can do that get. get ADM password, right? Computer name, um, that's a good question. Who am I? For THM. Hmm, okay. Well, that's just the who am I, huh? Um, get net, I can't do a get net computer name, can I? Get net computer. No, nope. uh, system info. Should be able to get computer name for system info, I believe. I believe I can. Host name, Chris Harveston. Okay. So we'll go ahead. Oh yeah, it did actually say that in the thing, did it? For Craig Harveston. And there we are. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna say in the last task we got that guy's password. In the last task, we actually got BK admins password so we just did a run as run as for powershell and then we did that get admin password okay cool so i'm just gonna hit enter a couple times here throw this part in we'll go ahead and throw that there and we'll go ahead and we'll throw this into here and there we are um, and his password is THM password is probably the that's the best password so far THM last password that is the best one we've gotten so far isn't it and that was BK admin cool um, other attacks here we go LLM and R poisoning hopefully it works because a lot of times it does not work with these boxes Kerber roasting I've done Kerber roasting Many a times. Um, what does it want us to do here? Let's see here. Enumerate the SPN users for the impact. It get user SPN script. What is the service principal name? Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do a get user SPN.py. I don't remember how I really use this one like right here. Um, domain user positional arguments. We actually want to do, we need a user's file, don't we? No matter what, we're going to need a user file, right? So, yeah, we need a user's file. So what we can do actually is we can, if we were on the machine as like a, not a, this can also be used for, um, This can be used for a couple different things like right here. Because we can also try to increase our privileges with this too. In case if someone like a service account had like a was curb roastable or something like that, you know, we do something like that. So let's go ahead and do a sublime text. Sublime text for users.txt. Let's throw this in there. Fuck. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, because I still have find on. Okay. That was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to we'll save that like right there. And from here, we're just going to do a um, get users spn.py. And we're going to do a, we're going to put the, because I have two things over there. Get users spn.py. Um, tag no pass right. Tag users file. It's going to be users.txt. Um, and tools like right now. I'm like, what the heck? Desktop, try hack me. No pass. Users file. User.txt. Um, then we're going to need the 
Domain to query request different than the domain of the user. Um, I might have to do request. In fact, DCIP, which is going to be the IP address, obviously, of the machine. There's no such thing as a tool. Tool. No, there isn't. I, I also feel that way too. I'm 37. I retired from the military until I'm 39. Oh, fuck. What the fuck do I do? Damn, I just messed it up. Let's do that like right there. All right, too, too few arguments. Attack domain, right? Target domain, which is going to be, um, what is it? Target domain, THM, right? Attack DCIP, THM, right? I think that's what it wants. Will that work? No, I think I need like tac domain, like tac D. Yeah, I also think that this thing has to be at the very end. So we have to put this at the end. And I also think that we can't do a no pass. I don't think we need that either. Okay. Um, pretty much have to say that stuff that he does, but this war is just like domain or something like that. Target domain username password. What does he want us to do here now? Numerate for SPN users. Get users SPN script. Are we? Get users SPN. What is the service principal name for the domain controller? Does it just want this one like right here? Password for THM is P A S S W G R D exclamation point. Does it just ask for this like right here? Is that all I wanted? I've read Kerberos and I think I, that like stuck in my head. No. Yeah, what's the service name for the domain controller? I need the domain controller. So, service THM. It's probably actually that like right there, isn't it? Yep. I have to find the SPN account from the previous question for curb roasting attack and grab the TGS ticket and crack it. Okay, so curb roasting. Um, we should actually be able to do that with getMPUsers.py. And that's going to be for, um, I should probably go back to the, this one right over here. Yep. Get and P user dot pi. And that's going to be for, we're going to keep that user's file, use that text in there. Good thing I named everything to say that thing. THM. And we want the IP address to be this guy right here. The main should be specified. Um, is that what I did like right there? That's for a TGT. Domain control IP address. This domain should be specified. Specify right here. Oh, because I didn't put a slash afterwards. That's why. I was not going to know what the hell to do with that, is it? And we probably also want to do this because it has that dash in it, too. So now it's Kerberosing it, like right now, with that user's file that we have. 
and there's nobody in there that's cover roastable. So where is he getting this user's file from? Yeah, I count for the previous question. For cover roast stack, you grab a TGS ticket and crack it. Um, what? <laughs> or are we just talking about like actually grabbing THM's actual ticket, like request. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, okay. Where's he getting this user.txt file from? Is it just, okay. He wants that like right there. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and remove check rf user.txt. Let's go ahead and sublime text user.txt. And let's go ahead and throw, did I just remove this? Whatever. Save that in there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this one more time with the one that we already did. Wrong way. <laughs> Messing up the end of this thing bad. What does it want me to do with curve? I don't understand. <laughs> like, it's saying at the final SPI account for the previous question for curve roast the attack. What do you. Yeah, that's curve roast the attack. This is a curve roast attack right here. And it's for this guy right here, right? That's the domain. So I'm not really understanding what it actually wants me to do here now. Is it getting messed up because of the domain name? Is it getting messed up with that or something? I feel like it's not or else it would have... Yeah, we would definitely see. <laughs> something in there. THM that right? I don't know. See, it said with that, it said with service THM. THM that right, you think? Okay, so administrator doesn't. Okay, there we go. You're correct. Okay, cool. But why was it asking us? To even it just wanted us just to look at this probably right here i take it we could probably grab this whole thing it would probably would have done it also huh probably could just grab that creds harvest in sshd does not have it but probably wanted us to do that like right there huh maybe nope i just want thm.red i was wondering why i had to do the part before that that's all okay let's go ahead and do a nano thank you very much thank you very very much collins Give John the Ripper a minute here. And it does not know what the password is. After finding, before I could grab the TGS ticket and crack it, was the password? Um, wait, is this one in the wrong format? Because there's two different formats for it. There's that one. And there's... No, that one should be in the right format. I'm actually pretty positive that one's actually in the correct format. And it told us to use Rocky.txt, right? Well, I think he's using, is he using Rocky.txt up here?
In fact, if you use option export ticket as John or Hashcuff. I've never had to do that before with this. But let's go ahead and do attack format. I've actually never typed this in before. What is what is format? John, okay. Let's see if it looks different. Whoops. THF red. Let's see if it looks different now. So I don't remember if it's Kerber if it's uh Kerbru or get MP users that you have to do the other one for. Okay, so it's get MP users. Kerbru comes through as a John the Ripper hash. Get MP users does not. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Now we got it. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and move that hash.txt, nano hash.txt, put that in there, john hash.txt, 4 equals 4, using rocky.txt word list, and hopefully uh, correct it this time. And no. Yes, that is 100% correct, yes. To find the SPN account for the previous question, will the curve rose in the attack to grab the TGS tick ticket and crack it? not understanding what it wants here and it hasn't already been cracked it might have already been let's let's check John, John.com. Oh my God. I fucking hate. <laughs> Request option. Okay. That's a good point. That's a good idea. So, attack request. Um, attack request. Um, it should be as that user, right? The what was that user? SVC. What was that username again? SVC user. Was it SPC user or was it? Or was it USR? I feel like it was just USR. So it's victim. Pull the victim one like right there. Which that's the same that we had before. And the user SPN's command with a request option. So you're saying run user SPN.
Is that what I wanted? This is what I want, like right here. This one's not really in John format, but I mean, we could do a tap format John. Guess we can't. There's the ticket, like right there. Let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go ahead and um, let's pull that into. How? Just make another one. Just make the other file. It's okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> password one. That's not the password we're looking for, though. Okay. It's okay. And the machine expired right when we hit correct answer. She expired. All right. Cool. Um, I've never done it that way before for that type of attack. So I definitely want to get that one like right there so we got the user's SPN right boom 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 all right that was laps um this was all in Kerber roasting so SPNs I want to do it like right here oh yes I have done it it's literally right there with the request okay I actually want to show that then 100% I have done it never mind I'm just an asshole <laughs> So, good thinking. Also, Collins, good thinking. Do Annie box? I think I already did Annie. But that's going to be my last one, Jerf P, for today because uh, it is 10.38 and I think I went to bed at 1 or 2 a.m. last night because I was up streaming. So I can't stay up streaming until then again because I do have to work tomorrow. I think I already did Annie. Let's see. Learn, search, and there you did it. <clears throat> hey, thank you much for the foul tiger nets. Thanks a lot. Um, let me go ahead and stop this video. Like right here. Thank you very much for watching. Watch on YouTube like right now. Thank you very much.